Hey, Steve Zook. Welcome back to Poke Suit Channel and the Guitar Ladder System. Hey, I want to share a guitar today and kind of do a little review about it um, that recently came in. <clears throat> um, it's a, a 50s Gibson LGO. This is really a nice guitar, I'll tell you. It's funny, too, because I'm not into formal religion, but I'm really into positive thinking. I'm really into positive faith. And, uh, you know, faith, positive faith is... is uh, activates you know an alignment with the miracle creating force of the universe even small miracles like manifesting guitars into your life but anyway it's funny because i've been thinking lately about maybe getting like a maho i love the sound of mahogany in an acoustic guitar and i was actually thinking lately of just you know spending a little money and getting a new guitar i was thinking of maybe getting the guild all solid mahogany guitar from maybe a company like Sweetwater. I, I don't buy much stuff from music stores being that I hustle and buy and sell. But I recently bought a few guitars from somebody, paid them really well for them, you know, more than any, I paid more than any music store would pay or obviously pawn shop, but I, I even pay more than music stores because I have a low overhead. This guitar just sounds, It's got that mid-range. You hear that growl? I don't know if you heard that growl, but this, this guitar growls. Oh man, I love it. Anyway, um, it's, these can be a little hard to date, these old LGOs, because the Will Gibson's serial number system was kind of wacko all over the place for a while, too. But one of the things you look for in the 50s one is it has the, uh, the Brazilian rosewood um, bridge. So that, that some, a lot of times you have to date guitars by things other than just the serial number, because oftentimes serial numbers were used to kind of categorize and store instruments and you can't always go by just serial numbers. They, they're not that accurate. They're not etched in stone. You have to look at the other elements of a guitar. But this guitar has got the, um, it's, it's got a five or six digit number inside too, but I forget, but it's got the Brazilian Rosewood bridge. So I'm pretty confident that it's a 50s. Um, could be early 60s. Uh, it's just, you know, I get a vibe that it's more 50s. And again, the Brazilian Rosewood bridge. Uh, it's also got, um, hang on a second here. I think it also has a Brazilian rosewood fretboard, which is, yeah, which is really cool. Um, yeah, this is, this is a lot of guitar. No, nothing sounds like a mahogany, mahogany. I mean, maho old mahogany wood has the most beautiful mid range and the most beautiful mid bass. And, uh, you know, guitar, a great guitar is not just about volume, it's about tone and voice. And this, this guitar, and great guitar tone is about mid-range, and this guitar just has a... up right now but I just want to share this guitar because it just sounds so beautiful just got that tremendous I love, I love this guitar a lot. I, I, I really don't want to sell it unless some, somebody wants to make me a crazy offer. Even then, I don't want to mess with your head. 
I think I'm just going to keep this guitar. But yeah, it's it's not the loudest guitar in the world. But like if I the other day I had one of my roommates play it and I just sat back and listened and man, the thing barks, it growls. It's that magic mojo mid range and mid bass, folks. That's where the magic is in a great guitar, even an electric, you know. But but especially with acoustic, it's that magic mid range and mid bass and overtone. Hear that? That's some real. T now, now a lot of people. people I was reading online uh, will take these guitars and convert them from a ladder bracing to an X bracing or kind of an X forward scallop type X bracing, you know, um, to get a little more volume and a little more tone. But I don't know, man, it sounds awful good <laughs> right now. Like once you change one thing, something else is not going to be the same uh, frequency. Something else is not going to be exactly like it was before. I, I would hate to fuck with this guitar. It just sounds so beautiful and has such a beautiful mid-range and, and a sweet, barky, growly mid-range and mid-bass. But yeah, uh, this was this was not an expensive guitar. It was more of a budget guitar. But man, they sure did a good job. Plus the wood is, you know, 70 years old or whatever the hell it is, you know. Uh, you know, 60 years old, somewhere in that part. Um, yeah, Gibson LGO. 50s or early 60s. I think it's a 50s because of the Brazilian Rosewood Bridge. But this is a small body, you know, kind of a double O size. In fact, I have a really good guitar case that I've had laying around for years. It's a brand new Guardian case when I used to be a dealer for the music link. I don't think it fits hard. It seems to not fit anything. I'm hoping it fits this guitar because it's a, it's a couple hundred dollar, couple hundred dollar case with a cross brace, uh, you know, like cross, you know, cross laminated wood it's really strong it's got really beautiful green lining but uh anyway i wanted to share this guitar because it just sounds un fucking real <laughs>
performance. I just wanted you guys to hear this guitar. Now this particular one does have a headstock uh, crack on the back. It might have been repaired. It might not have. A guy got it from said he showed it to a very, very high quality guitar shop. They said they wouldn't even worry about it. But uh, so I guess it puts this guitar into kind of a player's category. But God damn this thing. This thing sounds like a, you know, $3,000 guitar in my mind. You know. <laughs> just got 11s on this guitar and with 12s it would even sound better and you know what's really cool on this guitar most old guitars have hardly any saddle left because the neck shifts forward um, this guitar has plenty of saddle left so it's still I could put you know 12s on this guitar and still take a little off the bottom of the saddle but yeah man I love this guitar this this is one this guitar reminds me a lot of, of an old Martin pre-war 30s I actually had two of them but a, a couple, I had a couple of the Martin 0017s uh, pre-war from the 30s that just sounded amazing. This guitar has a lot of the same tone. It doesn't have quite as much volume, doesn't have as much bass, but the mid-range and the mid-bass is just as magical, if not more, because when you get rid of one thing, something else can shine through a little bit more. It's like having an orchestra or maybe the, you know, the violins are a little louder than, than the tubas or whatever. You know, when one thing isn't as loud, something else comes through more. And the and the mid-range uh, bark and growl and sweet, let's call it sweetness, the mid-range overtones, mid-bass, mid-range sweetness, as well as treble, uh, is just so nice on this guitar. I, I really, uh, really love this guitar, like I said. <laughs> This, this is a old Gibson 50s or early 60s. I happen to think it's a 50s because it's got the Brazilian Rosewood Bridge. And they, they started making these, I guess, around 1958. I personally think they made a big shitload batch of them and then maybe re-serialized them later. So there could be, uh, you know, many that are 50s that, that were serialized more as the a, as a 60s. But again, the, the, their serial number is all crazy anyway. But yeah, this is really, really a beautiful guitar. And I just love, I just love the sound of mahogany. It just has such a, such a sweet sound, you know, really nice for finger. My fingers are 
I could lower the action a little bit, but then I'm going to lose a little tone. I think I'm just going to leave this guitar alone. Right there. This has overtones. That growly, hummy. I don't think tone gets any better than this. Like I said, this has got a $3,000 sound. Really don't want to sell it. Maybe I just, I, I really don't keep much, but. Again, you can't say every Gibson, and this is not me just saying this, trying to sell it, because I'm really not trying to sell this. Uh, you can't say every Gibson from the 50s or early 60s is going to sound as good as this one. Guitars vary greatly from guitar to guitar. Um, but this, this guitar really, really has a voice. So I, thought, I thought I'd just share it. Gibson 50s LGO. Paul Gibson Vintage LGO. I think I'm just going to keep this one. Just I thought I'd share what it's like. Hard to put this down. That's some tone, man. That is some freaking tone. 
again, loudness is not tone, loudness is not voice. It's the overtone series, the sweet, barky, growly mid-range and mid-bass. I fucking love it. I know I'm cussing a lot today. I just can't help it. The guitar is just too freaking good. All right, everybody, keep the positive faith. Positive faith works. I'm not into organized religion at all, <laughs> but I am into positive faith. I'm into positive thinking. I mean, I'm into learning how to create from the quantum field, how to tap into the quantum field. I've been doing transcendental meditation, TM, transcendental meditation, for almost 40 years. I'm into consciousness development. I believe we live in a holographic universe and learning how to create not just matter to matter, but energy to matter through learning to create from the quantum field is uh, our entry into the next level of evolution, of being a consciousness, a uh, century of consciousness in an ocean of spirit. Ciao. Love to everybody. I mean that.